Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. Tonight I am going to be opening up this box and checking it in to our hotel, but before doing that I'm going to have to look and see what's inside. So I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Of course the question we are opening is what's in the box in regards to this independently published board game Techlandia from Dan Ackerman. I am opening this up for the first time tonight. I know very little about the game. I am looking forward to checking this out. So Techlandia. <clears throat> Imagine a world where people are enslaved by their electronics, where we willingly allow websites and smartphones to spy on us, and even pay for the privilege. Oh wait, that's actually real life. But imagine all that stuff, plus the twisted CEO of one of these tech giants using his power and influence to open the floodgates to another plane of existence, bringing ancient evils to Earth. That's what you suspect is happening at the Techlandia Corporation, the world's biggest maker of overpriced smartphones, where CEO Dexter Ward is announcing the company's newest phone, the top-secret Techlandia TX1. You haven't been invited to the grand launch of the TX1, but you're not a tech blogger because you like following the rules. There's something strange going on here, and you're going to expose it all, and hopefully save the world. Silicon Valley meets Lovecraft in Techlandia, the funny and scary new tabletop adventure dungeon crawl game of smartphones and supernatural horror. And I gotta say, that right there is what sold me on the theme and why I agreed to review this game. So thank you, Dan, for sending a copy of this, because I am looking forward to checking it out. But the first step to playing this game is going to be opening the box, so let's get to it. Let's take a look inside the box for Techlandia. All right, right on top we have the rules and regulations. They're not just rules, they're regulations. Got a little bit of uh, line art in here. Very small text. Introduction to the phone to rule them all. Oh, there we go. We have some actual color artwork. Full color, we got initial setup, we've got some pictures of the cards here, rather small text, lots and lots of blocks of text here. This doesn't look like it's going to be an easy one. Not a lot of graphics or examples in here. I'll admit this rule book's slightly concerning, that's a lot of text to get through with very little examples. There is a QR code, so there you go, that might help. Um, decrypting the QR code and winning the game. So you may need to scan a QR code to win the game, or that might be a card in the game. I was hoping that was a QR code to teach you how to play. Um, so again, lots and lots of text, lots of rules in this one. The, I do see a smartphone dashboard here. Again, I don't know if that's actually something to do with the game. So this is frequently asked questions. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 16 pages of uh, single column, small font rules here. This is a, a significant looking rule book. It's like a lot going on in Techlandia. Not a lot of examples in the book. Hopefully it's nice and clear and easy to understand. Next we have cardboard punch outs, including a bunch of standees, which look like a bunch of Agent Smiths to me, but there's also a squid headed guy and some QR codes. So we'll throw these under the close up cam here. So it looks like you have four different characters, a whole bunch of like Mr. Smith looking FBI agents, one which has a squid head. Um, these are two-sided with the same artwork on the second side, not like the backs of the characters. And QR code tokens, four of them. Then we have a bunch of hexes. These are not already pre-punched, so that's good to see. Uh, they just have rooms on them. So we have like an R&D lab that has a bit of graphics on it and um, very abstract looking. Looks like you're going to probably make a map out of these. You've got the, the server room. The open bar, whoop, I'll go put it over here, uh, and a conference room. Then we have a whole bunch more in blue, which unfortunately my close-up cam is using a blue screen, so I can't actually use that. So you, I'll hold that over here, it doesn't really work. So we have like the welcome center. We have a purple one called security. You might be able to see that one. We have the press room, the elevator, meet and greet, gift shop, selfie station. 
Nope, selfie statuary. He selfie statuary. Uh, these are all nice, thick card, uh, single sided, just a gray background on the back. The red and blue theme looks pretty good to me, though doesn't work well for my particular setup here. We have a ton of little red cubes. These are your standard plastic resource cubes like you've seen in games like Terraforming Mars. Yeah, these are little red cubes. There is a baggie full of these. Whole bunch of red cubes. You have the most precious D6 ever because it's in its own little individually packaged. But it's just a standard black D6 with white pips. Rounded corners, standard die size. Nothing special there. Uh, you have standees, plastic standees for all those cardboard standees. Stands, sorry, plastic stands for all the cardboard standees. We have a deck of cards. Okay, so here's that smartphone thing we could see earlier. So this is like a large, probably larger than, yeah, these are bigger than tarot size. Like these are significantly large size cards. They have a um, kind of generic data encryption kind of look on the back of these. So there are a bunch of these with QR codes, which again, I, not knowing the game, I don't know if these are for the same. No, these are all unique QR codes. Then we have a whole bunch of, oh, so I don't, I don't know if I want to spoil these. So this says, read this card when the doomsday clock is set to zero. Read this card when the doomsday clock is set to five. When the Doomsday Clock is set to 20, when it's set to 1. So I'm going to flip over the one that says 0. So here we have uh, W Rip My Mentions and Life as We All Know It. So some kind of event card. So I'm not going to reveal the rest of these because it, it seems like something that would be better to discover during play. Then we have a number of enemy cards. That big red word enemy on the back. And on the front we have... The, uh, the Mr. Smith looking character with the squid headed person standing next to him. This one says cold as ice. We've got dude bro. We got fast and loose. These all feature the exact same art. Uh, the cards do have a linen finish to them. You can kind of see there. Thickness is decent. Hardware guru, the intern. Uh, these all have different numbers at the top and some text on them. Though I gotta admit, all the same artwork is kind of boring. Would have been nice to see more artwork than that. Then we have a bunch of gray black cards that on the front show cell phones. I have to assume every player gets one of these, probably for tracking various things in the game. So there's a spot for four QR codes, th four, three description codes, rooms investigated one, two, three, four, three spots to check up objectivity, and three skills at the bottom, spyware, disinfo, and memes. And there are four of these cell phones. They kind of have an Apple look. And then there is a doomsday clock, which uh, has red numbers for when to read off those doomsday cards. So that's it for the large size cards. Then we have a significant deck of standard cards, standard board game size cards. These are very dark. I'm going to look for backs here. So we have locations. Okay, so a deck of location cards. Investigation cards. Gear cards. Well, there's a lot of those. Okay, there's... Oh. I thought that was the rest of the deck for a minute. And encounter cards. So we'll start with the location cards. Um, these, I think, match what we saw earlier. So this says conference room, and it's got the picture that was on the conference room, and then there's some text at the bottom. Uh, then we have the gift shop, the meet and greet. So yes, these match these hexes we saw earlier. So open bar, and it looks like there is one card for each, the R&D lab. So that's a location deck. Investigation. Um, shows an open door in blue, the word investigation, and some text. Again, there's the exact same artwork on every one of these cards. So a little disappointed with the um, lack of variety in the artwork. The text on these is all different. So every investigation card, the text is different, but the graphic at the top is the same. Encounter cards. Uh, again, all the same art. So the same picture at the top of each of these, and it's got like someone holding a cell phone, Sneaking and listening in on a conversation. Uh, this is blocked by a giant backpack. Okay. Coat check line. Dead phone battery. So these sound like unfortunate events. Don't know who I am. Don't you know who I am? Sorry. 
Escape the Smelly Guy. Help Wanted, and so on. I am not going to go through all of these. So those are the encounter cards. Then we have gear cards, which again, you have a deck full of uh, unique pieces of gear, and it's all a picture of a notepad, a notebook where someone scribbled in it. Though this one does say pen and notepad, so the art's right on that one. But then this one says beta OS upgrade. This says book deal. This says breath mints. And there is a deck of these, again, all with the same art. And that's it. That is all the cards you get in Techlandia. This looks like a game that reminds me, I'm wondering if this was kickstarted. It probably has. It reminds me of the original printing of Aeon's End. And once they, the game was popular and people liked it, they did a second printing where they actually paid people to redo all the artwork. That's what this looks like you could use the most of. So now I'm just going to squeeze everything back into the box. Uh, there is no discernible box insert here. There's a cardboard trough, but it's barely fitting this stuff. All it actually serves to do is hold the punch outs above everything else. There is no specific spot to put any of this. We're just dumping it all back in. Techlandia. So there you have what you get in the box for Techlandia, an independently published Lovecraftian high-tech dungeon crawl. I don't even know. Uh, it looks definitely interesting. A lot of cards, some neat-looking location cards. A little disappointed by the lack of variety in the artwork in this game, but I'm hoping that the gameplay mechanics stand up. We'll find out once I actually get to try this game out and get it to the table. When I do get the game to the table, you'll be able to hear all about it at tabletopbellhop.com. That is our webpage where I post all of our gaming content, including many blog posts with reviews, news, and unboxings, actual plays, and things like that. So head over there to find more gaming content. For those of you on YouTube, you can hit the little I button and get a nice shortcut there. The other thing you'll find up there in the I button is a link to our Patreon. That's at tabletopbellhop.com slash Patreon. If you appreciate this video and our content and would like to continue, or sorry, support our continued efforts, please consider tipping your bellhop there. Uh, for the Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.